Hi guys, Nick here from Game Reactor TV with a video on how to beat Crota in Crota's end on hard mode. This is by no means a perfect run, but I think it's a good way to see how to beat him for people who are having a hard time. Uh, we tried different strategies uh, in, in, uh, on Crota uh, and ended up simply having most success with playing it the easy slow way. Uh, in this uh, room here, um, as you can see, Secure is generating orbs. She's doing that by using a Blade Dancer move where you can use the wave through the window. I, I choose not to do that because I want to save my super uh, to generate health for myself in case I get hit by some of these acolytes. Uh, we clear this, these two rooms pretty uh, slowly. Uh, again, play it safe. Um, that, that's really the key to, to beating Crota. You have plenty of time before he hits Enrage uh, like he does on normal. Um, so just play it uh, slow. I am using the, the hard mode pulse rifle, uh, oversoul edict, and I'm using black hammer from the Crota raid as well, and then Galahorn. We have two people on boomer duty. Um, I'm using black hammer, the other guy is, is using um, icebreaker. Um, this part plays pretty much the same as on normal, um, just play it more safe. Uh, we also have some titans that put up shields where we used to have them give uh, the da extra damage boost, now we have Blessing of Light, so we get that extra shield. As you see here, when we've taken down the boomers, instead of the knight, we have a wizard. I use my Galahorn for that. One Galahorn short on the wizard to take down the shield, it gives some damage, and then we take it down slowly. The key here is you want to time this, so if the sword bearer is, is down early, you want to wait a little bit uh, and make sure you have the wizard down before you damage Crota. Here, I, I watch the boomers and don't actually see what, what they're doing on Crota. But if, if you have the sword bearer down early, make sure you wait so the wizard is not there when you try to uh, damage Crota. And this means that we don't have boomers for most of the damage time on Crota as well. Um, so that makes it easier for the sword bearer. Sword bearer is running a hunter blade dancer and um, she doesn't uh, do, do stealth on the first hit, but then when she's done the first hits with the swords, it, she drops the sword and does the blink attack uh, on Crota, which makes her invisible and picks up the sword again, so Crota doesn't attack her when she runs away. So here we've uh, damaged Crota once. Um, take it slow here, Crota rotates right. Um, now we, we have good time to take down the second sword bearer. Uh, I use my blade dancer here. Uh, to generate some orbs for the sword bearer, so when she gets back up with the sword to damage Crota next time, she'll pick up some orbs, which makes it easier for her to uh, get the super and do more damage. Uh, but yeah, here we played slow. Um, just like we, when we played it on normal, we have three guys on Galahorn, on Crota, two on Boomer, and one on, on sword bearer. Um, and here, I, I don't even hit all my shots with the with the sniper, and it still goes pretty well. Um, so. You can do it without running it perfectly if you just take your time and play it safe. Um, here I'm getting ready for the second wizard. Crota rotates in the middle, so we want the sword guy down. We have that here. I take down the, the wizard damage and then the sword bearer or our sword carrier runs up and, and does damage here. A little bit better angle here. You can see I, I'm ready to do some damage. We know the boomer is not coming right away. Um, so in the beginning here I can look and then I go back to making sure it, uh, it's not that interesting but it's the safest way of being ready for for the boomers. Um, that's how I play it. Two boomers here. I actually don't need to shoot them. I just uh, shoot a couple of times to stun to get uh, make it easier for my team to, to get away. But as you can see here we rotate away anyway. The, the orbs that our uh, teammate generated earlier, I, I get those so I have my super ready. Take down the boomers right here. And this is when the ogres are on normal. We usually rotate down the middle, but as we have uh, the gatekeeper down there that we can't take down, uh, we stay up here and take down the ogres. And this is where it sort of got a little bit hard for us before, where we would take down the two ogres before Crota rotates into the middle. Uh, and that is really hard to, to make sure that happens. So instead, we actually take our time let Crota rotate into the middle, again to the right, and then back to the middle. So instead of one period uh, of Crota rotation, we have three to take down the two overs. 
so we take down one this side and then we rotate left and take out the other and we have plenty of time before Crota hits uh, the normal enrage where of course uh, as you might know Crota hits enrage with uh, when he hits about 15% health back but the timer on enrage uh, you should not have to worry about at all um, so I go in here and check on Crow to see when he rotates. And then I'm also closer to run over and um, and take out boomers uh, while my team rotates. So I get there a little bit early uh, to do that damage. So here I see rotate, call this it out. That's another thing. Make sure you call everything out to your teammates. Um, that's how we do with the boomers as well. Call out when it's boomers. Call out when they're down. Call out when the wizard shows up, when the wizard is down. If we need help with damage on the wizard, all that. Everything is called out. Most of it people will know. But just in case, um, make sure you communicate well. Here, some thralls coming. Again, take it slow. Um, we have Crota's in the middle now, so Crota will have to rotate right and then back into the middle for, for us to do this, the, the sword on him again. So we have plenty of time uh, and take it slow on the sword bearer when he comes in a little bit. We're still damaging the ogre here. Um, and we actually, as you can see, have a guy down and we decide to, to try to finish it uh, and we can do that the rest of it. So like half the run with only five guys. Uh, so it's, it's very doable. Damage on the oversoul and, uh, and we continue here and actually make it w with five guys. So um, should be doable uh, if you take it slow. Uh, I think most of the other guys, some are running Fatebringer and uh, I don't know if anybody else is running uh, any of the new weapons. Uh, I'd say this is pretty good for, for boomers as you can shoot through the shields, but otherwise I really like a scout that I got from uh, drop uh, one of the 331 uh, badgers. Uh, so you don't need crazy, crazy weapons. Uh, Galahorn makes it easier, but it's doable with others. Take down the thralls. Uh, again here, communicate what you're doing. We have one, I'm shooting thralls on the bridge. Some, someone is checking the back. The other guys are doing the, doing the ogres. Um, so we have everything covered. And this part here in a little bit actually goes a little bit wrong as well. I I want to get my Galahorn off quickly in a little bit, and that makes it not lock on. Uh, so we, we make it anyway, but that's another sign of take it slow. You'll have time to do everything, uh, and that's the best way of doing it, unless you're really good. I mean, you can get him down in two swords before the ogres, but everything needs to run perfect. And for us, it was better to, to do it slow and, and safe. Let's take down the, the boomers here. Sometimes we play that a little bit slow as well as Again, trying to time it with how we want the sword, so we just tap them to not kill them right away. Here, take down the wizard. This one was was good, but the fourth run we have um, is where it's problems. I'm ready with the Galahorn if we need extra damage on Crota. Um, take him down, help with the primary. We get some damage in. Uh, not that much, but it, it works. As you can see here, um, does the sword trick, uh, drops the sword. And this is where, see, Enrage, and we get him, uh, get all the loot, ship, word of crow to the hand cannon, uh, the new shader, some shards and energy, and I actually also got um, the fourth horseman, the exotic, and everyone is super happy. Uh, so really nice, hope you can use this. As I said, this is by no means a perfect run, uh, but maybe if you're having problems, this is a good way of seeing how how you can, can get it done. Um, thanks for watching, and remember to keep watching to your TV for more Destiny. Thank you.